నమస్తే శ్రీరామ లవ్ అండ్ రెస్పెక్ట్ ఫుట్ ఆఫ్ లార్డ్ శ్రీరామ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ థర్టీ వన్ స్పిండిల్ స్పీడ్ టు టర్న్ ఏ మైల్ స్టీల్ రాడ్ ఆఫ్ డయామీటర్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఎంఎం యూజింగ్ హెచ్ఎస్ఎస్ టూల్ విత్ ఎ కటింగ్ స్పీడ్ ఆఫ్ థర్టీ మీటర్ పర్ మినిట్స్ ఆప్షన్స్ ఏ వన్ ఆర్పిఎం ఆప్షన్ బి వన్ నైన్ జీరో నైన్ పాయింట్ ఎయిట్ ఆర్పిఎం అండ్ ఆప్షన్ సి ఫైవ్ త్రీ జీరో పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ టూ ఆర్పిఎం అండ్ ఆప్షన్ డి ఫైవ్ త్రీ జీరో ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ టూ ఆర్పిఎం ఫర్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఈజ్ ఆప్షన్ ఏ వన్ నైన్ జీరో పాయింట్ నైన్ ఎయిట్ ఆర్పిఎం సో ఫర్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ద కంప్లీట్ సొల్యూషన్ ఈజ్ ఫస్ట్ రైట్ ద గివెన్ డాటా so let's read the question the spindle speed to turn a mile steel means we have to find the spindle speed okay so then read the next line the mile steel rod of diameter diameter is given that is 50 mm so you have to write the diameter d is equal to 50 mm using hss tool with the cutting speed of 30 meter per minutes so it means the cutting speed is given so you have to write the 30 meter per minute so we have to find the spindle speed yes so we know that the cutting speed is equal to v is equal to pi ds divided by 1000 so so they are given diameter and cutting speed so we have to find out the spindle speed so then substitute the diameter and the cutting speed in this equation so cutting speed is 30 is equal to pi right as it is into d is 50 yes we have to find out divided by 1000 next step simplify these steps so s is unknown so then we have to find out the value of s okay that is spindle speed so we have to simplify these steps we will get 30 into 1000 divided by pi into 50 so i simplify the numerator that is 30 into 1000 that is 30,000 next uh, simplify the next denominator that is pi into 50 that is 157.1 okay pi is nothing but 3.14 or 22 by 7 so if you divide the 22 by 7 they will get we will get 3.147 so next step simplify again these steps if we divide these two numbers so that is a uh, numerator and denominator then we will get cutting speed is equal to s is equal to 190.9 rpm so for this questions the correct answer is option a that is 190.98 rpm so next question the question number 32 the pitch of m12 isometric coarse thread is options 1.75 mm 1.00 mm 1.50 mm 0.8 mm so for this question the correct answer is that is option a 1.7 mm millimeter so matrix coarse thread nominal size their list of nominal size is given and uh, in left side and also right side the pitch is given so corresponding to nominal size for m6 the pitch is 1 so for m8 the pitch is 1.25 for m10 the pitch is 1.50 for m12 the pitch is 1.75 so in this questions they are asking in the question number 32 the pitch of m12 isometric coarse thread is so means m12 so for m12 corresponding to m12 the pitch is 1.75 so in this options option a 1.75 millimeter this is the correct answer for the question number 32 next question that is 33 in three start thread if lead is 12 mm then pitch is so in a three star thread if a lead is 12 mm then the pitch is option a 4 millimeter 
and option B 6 mm option C 3 mm option D 12 mm so correct answer is 4 mm option A so we know that triple start for lead is equal to pitch into number of starts for three starts so three starts okay then the lead is given that is 12 mm so substitute it and equal pitch we have to find the pitch okay then number of starts means for for three starts there are three starts is there so we have to write three so unknown is pitch so we have to find out the pitch again simplify these steps we want to find the pitch then this three number number three substitute the left side of the equal sign then it will be comes under 12 that is 12 by 3 if you 3 4 is 12 so then the pitch if you simplify these steps then we will get the pitch is equal to 4 millimeter for the question number 33 in 3 star thread if lead is 12 mm then the pitch is option a that is 4 m this is the correct answer question for question number 33 next question question number 34 the super finishing process carried out using abrasive stick for the removal of stock from metallic and non-metallic surface is option a lapping option b rubbing option c surface finishing option d awning for this question the correct answer is option d awning so awning is the process awning is an abrasive machining process that produces a precision surface on a metal workpiece by scrubbing an abrasive stone against the, along its controlled path so awning is the abrasive machining process means it will remove the some kind particles materials metals so that's produce a precision surface on a metallic workpiece by scrubbing abrasive stones against the it's along the control path this is called anning okay for the question number 34 the process finishing process carried out using abrasive sticks for the removal of stock from metallic and non-metallic surface is correct answer is option D that is awning next question option next question question number 35 which of the following statement is correct option A gauges are used to measure the size option B gauges are used to check the shape of components option C gauges are used to check the size option d templates are used to check the size so for these questions the correct answer is option c the gauges are used to check the size next question question number 36 a process to make a permanent joint by joining two similar or dissimilar metals using any non ferrous metal as the filler metal having a melting point below that of the base metal but higher than the 450 degrees celsius is called so for this questions options are following so option a soldering option b welding option c brazing option d none of the above So correct answer for this questions option c brazing so brazing a brazing is a metal joining process in which the filler metal or alloy is heated to temperature above 450 degrees celsius and melted only filler metal melts and deposits deposits fusing the work pieces so brazing is the metal joining process in which the filler metal or alloy is heated to 
temperature above 450 degrees Celsius and melted only filler metal melts the deposit using the workpiece. So the question number 36 a process to make a permanent join by joining two similar or dissimilar metals using any non-ferrous metal as the filler metal having a melting point below that of the base metal but higher than 450 degrees celsius is called is called correct answer is option c brazing so next question question number 37 according to the 5s concepts which one of the following represents arrangement Option three, session, system, and so and system. So for these questions, the correct answer is system. Set in order, the goal of this step is to examine methods to storage that are effective and efficient. Sometimes they refer to as visual management and then create a work environment that is organized in ergonomic, uncultured and easily navigable. How many items need to be readily accessible and accessible and where should they be located? For these questions, the correct answer is here means set in order. It means means it in order. So next questions 38 question number 38 the size of the dividers are specified by the option A distance between the points when fully open option B length of legs without the points option C the distance between the pivot and the point option D total length of the for this question the correct answer is distance between the pivot and the point next question question number 39 for cutting thin tubing the most suitable pitch of the axe or blade is option a 0.8 millimeter option b 1 millimeter option c 1.4 millimeter option d 1.8 millimeter so for this question the correct answer is option e 0.8 millimeter next questions the rack angle of chisel is the angle between the the rack angle of chisel is the angle between the option A bottom face of the cutting edge and the working surface option B working face and the bottom face of the cutting edge option C angle between the working surface and the axis of the chisel when chipping option D top face of the cutting edge and the line perpendicular to the working surface the correct answer is option d top face of the cutting edge and the line perpendicular to the work surface so this is the diagram for rack angle thank you for watching jai shri rama